Amen and amen. Welcome, Pastor Steve. Praise the Lord, everybody. Give him one more great big shout. God bless you. Praise and worship team, stay very close. We're going to do something that way maker in just a little bit, okay? Stay with me. So whatever you got to do to get back in here as fast as possible, like sit down. <laughs> Glory to God. Somebody shout, there, there. Is, is momentum. momentum. Now, uh, let me ask you this. I'm not trying to be smart, but let me just ask you this question. Where is there? Come on, think with me. Where is there? Has anyone ever been on a long trip with children? Uh-uh, y'all didn't. Y'all, y'all, y'all hadn't been with any children on a long trip. Small children. I said, I'm asking you, have you ever been, or even a short trip with children? Say amen if you ever did that. Wave at me if you've ever been on a trip with small children. You haven't got out of Abbeville, and one of them will say, ready? Are we? Somebody shout, there is momentum. Now, when we think of there, we think of arrival or maybe a destination reached. But I'd like you to explore with me today where God considers there to be. Everyone here today either wants momentum or could use momentum. Am I right? Everybody here is looking for the big mo. Remember I preached the big mo, M-E-A-U-X. Uh, say amen to that. <laughs> Listen, everyone here wants momentum or could use more, maybe, momentum. Momentum in life general, but today especially, we're talking about momentum spiritually. We all need a spiritual momentum. Uh, today, our context of momentum, our definition, our working definition would be this. It'll come on the screen. You might want to jot it down. Momentum in the context in which we're talking today is strength or force gained by motion or by a series of events. And here's what I really like. Momentum is the product of mass and velocity. I said mass and velocity. Where could be, we be as a church or any church or any ministry if we would move as one body? I'll say amen to that. You see, G Jesus talked an awful lot about a place called there in the Bible. Could there be a place or a location where there is momentum. Again, say it with me. Say, there, there is, is momentum. momentum. Now, let's look together. John chapter 14. Y'all excited that it's Labor Day weekend? How many get to labor on Labor Day? Come on. <laughs> Amen. We love you. John chapter 14, verse 1 through 6. Now watch where your mind goes immediately when you read this scripture. Ready out loud? Everybody read. Ready? Read. Let not your be uh, 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 all together. Ready, class? Ready? Read. Let not you believe in God. Verse 2. In my give the Lord a shout for that. Come on, just a shout. Get it out of you better than that. That's heaven. Come on. Now, you know, I told the story about mom who's probably watching, Mamma, who we would go up there to Rocky Mount United Methodist Church and we would have homecoming. And every year, a little guy named Stephen would get his guitar and he'd sing, just give me a cabin in the corner of glory land now listen <laughs> nothing wrong with that but i'm here to tell you 
If God makes you a cabin, it ain't going to be some little old junked out place, rat infested. Come on. Uh, if you want a cabin, you can have it. But I'm here to tell you, I'm going where mansions are. Say amen to that. In my father's house are many. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Verse three. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. And the way, well, uh, excuse me, that, that where I am, whoa, 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 y'all caught it? That where I am, again, that where I am, you may be also. And what's this? Thomas said to him, Lord, oh, Thomas, man, Thomas just as soon shut his mouth. He was always sticking his foot in his mouth. Lord, we do not know where you are going. I believe he got Elizabethan English on him. <laughs> and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, what? I am the way, the truth. And the life shout Zoe. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said this, that where I am, there you may be also. Right? One more time. There is momentum. Y'all catching it already, you lightning fast minds, aren't you? Watch this. Thomas was looking for a physical location, but Jesus was speaking about a spiritual sense of being. Are y'all catching this? Jesus wasn't necessarily, yes, he was talking about heaven. I will, and I, uh, uh, how many want to go to heaven? Wave at me if you want to go to heaven. But how many would like to experience some heaven on earth? Huh? Come on, some miracle signs and wonders, some supernatural here on the earth. Wave at me if you want to see God move uh, in this hour and in this day. See, Jesus said this. He said that where I am, there you may be also. God honors, listen to this, you theological minds. <laughs> that means smart people. God honors the way as much as he does the where. Watch this. Ephesians 2, 6 says that God has raised us up and made us to sit with him in heavenly places. Romans 8, 17 says that if we're children, and we are, then we're heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. You see, on the way there, he is already there. God considers the way there as already there. Come on, are you with me now? Jesus said this in Matthew 6, 10. Remember in the Lord's prayer, he said, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as. Now, everybody says it is in, but that is in italicized words. You know what that means? The translators put it in there. Jesus said it this way. Your will be done on earth as heaven. We don't have to wait to get to heaven to have some heaven. But God in my, I mean, Pastor Steve in my house, it, it nothing looks like heaven. Nothing, there's uh, all kind of stuff is going on. I'm here to tell you, listen, there is about to show up at your house. <laughs> And where there is, there is momentum. Amen? Now, let me stay here. Whoa, pull that back. You see, there is where the presence of the Lord is. And Jesus is always there. 
Look at this next slide. There, Jesus, is momentum. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Somebody say there. It says, now the Lord is the spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, shout it, is liberty. Shout freedom. freedom. Wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Don't you know Jesus knew? Listen, Jesus knew the prophecy. And he knew when he said this about these mansions, that prophecy had not been fulfilled. He knew that there was no way he could just leave, go to heaven and come straight back. He knew the scripture backward and forward. He knew he was not coming directly back for those people. So what he was doing was talking to, I don't, there's a name for it. He was saying one thing, but meaning two, th two things at the same time. Y'all know, all, what's that called? Not a parody? No. <laughs> Let me not try, because Brother Brett, I'm going to mess that up bad. <laughs> all you guys that know what I'm trying to say. Listen, when Jesus was talking about the mansions, he knew he was not coming back immediately. But he knew that, watch, he is there. So everywhere he is, there is. And then he said, watch, no man comes to the Father but through me. You know what he was talking about? You got to go on into John 15 and John 16 and John 17. He was talking about, I'm physically about to leave this place. I'm going to prepare a place for you. But the one that I'm sending, the one that I'm going to send is not going to live like me alongside of you. He is going to live in you. Come on, y'all. Some of us don't have the there because watch, we've stepped away from momentum because we're not living in the fullness of the baptism of the fire and the Holy Spirit. The Lord wants to live in us, say in us. He said, as it, as, he, as uh, just as heaven, right, on earth as heaven. But how do we get there? There. How do we get there? We're already there. But I don't feel anything. Well, you just sang a song that even though I don't feel that you're working. Yeah, you're working. Am I right? <laughs> Did y'all just sing that? Do you believe it or are you just singing words? Yeah, but I need to feel something, Pastor. I, I got to see something to believe it. I'm the type that I see it and then I believe it. Huh? Well, the next time you take your car key and put it in the car, do you believe that that key is going to start that car? Huh? But you don't see it yet. Hello? You don't see it yet. But you believe it's already there, right? The power in that battery, oh, come on, yeah. is going to start that car. Some of us are not experiencing any momentum because we, the, the battery is, right now I need to help Sheila because her battery is, it's starting to get, you know when it starts getting weak and you jump it and, well, guess what? That's how some of us are today. We're not seeing a lot of heaven because we lost some momentum because watch and look, God never gave us heaven for us to forget about earth. He doesn't listen. J J Jeremiah 1 5 says before I formed you in the mother's womb, I knew you. Well, where did he know us? Just a blob of just floating. No, we are first citizens of heaven. And watch, the death curse that Adam brought on mankind had to be broken. So Jesus came and said, yes, I'm going to make you a place to come see me. But before you come see me, I'm going to come back in the power of my spirit and live in you. 
and you'll be able to have what I know that my father has in heaven on the earth. You'll see miracle signs and wonders. You'll see things. You'll see your children come to know Jesus. You'll see the community turn from killing one another to loving one another. Shout amen. Oh, give the Lord a great big shout. Come on. You'll see it. Why? Because I'm going to make you a place. But don't live in an escapist mentality. Come on, I've preached that before. Can't wait to leave. Can't wait to go to heaven. Yes, we want to go to heaven. But before that, some people need to see the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God, heaven on this earth. And going to church is not enough. Well, I'm not even part of this church. You don't know. No, no. It don't matter where you go to church. The church can't save you. The church can't disciple you. Listen, only G we can do our part. But only Jesus. Come on, it's only Jesus. The Lord led me. Led me. Some of y'all see it and y'all think I'm misspelling words. But the Lord laid, led me lately to put hashtag Jesus strong. And every time I do it, I'm thinking about the power of Jesus to set men and women free. I don't put an extra S, so I'm not misspelling the word. I'm telling everybody that because look, pastor can't spell J-E-S-U-S-T-R-O-N-G. No, I believe, listen today, it has no application for missing the S. The whole application is Jesus is strong and he wants to do what only he can do through his body in this hour. But we can sit back and sing. See, we sing songs, but do we believe them? We hear words, but do we believe them? Amen. You see, every part of our lives is dependent on our spiritual momentum. It's very simple. Look at this next slide. We are not natural physical beings going somewhere to be spiritual. We are spiritual beings that happen to live in a natural setting. Oh, let that change your mind, church. That, that'll change us from just always being needy in our flesh, in our, in our natural world. We can conquer that thing where our spirit is in control and not everything else around us. We were not ever to be controlled by our emotions or our flesh. Are you getting this? We were meant to be spiritual beings that happened to live in a fallen world. In this world, you're going to have tribulation. But be of good cheer. Jesus says, I have overcome the world. Today, the thing that God wanted me to drop by for a few moments and tell you, is this your natural world around you my natural world around me is dependent upon the spiritual energy the spiritual momentum that we must gain each and every day you may ask me how do I get natural success how do I succeed in the natural? Watch this. If we want more natural success, listen to this note. We must be willing to grow and develop spiritually. Now, here's something. Don't turn me off. You're going to say, not that again, pastor. Yes. If you want and I want, didn't we just say a while ago we all want momentum, right? We all want and, and our energy in our flesh in our natural world is dependent upon our spiritual energy and fervency and, and our, our spiritual momentum. Thank you for that one yeah and one amen. amen. How many, let me just ask this question. Can I just talk to you? How many want to be successful in the natural? Huh? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. 
How many want people to love them? Huh? None of those over there want any. Y'all pray for that. They, nobody wants love. Yeah, but Warren Dale said, boy. Hey, shake a fist at me if you want to be loved. Come on, huh? Thank you. Everybody wants to be loved. How many would enjoy a little bit more financial freedom? Huh? Come on, wave at me. I see some hands higher than others. How many would really, really enjoy being more of a positive influence on those around them? Huh? Come on. Listen to this. There's no tricks to this, church. It all goes back to sound fundamentals. You know why LSU beat that team like a... <laughs> oh, my God. I hope they don't get big-headed, though. Because them old longhorns. Anyway, I get nervous. Listen, do, 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 do you want, you want to, to grow in the natural and increase? It all comes from the spiritual source. Amen? S some of us maybe don't have any, we're, we're lacking energy. We're tired all the time. Now, diet can be a part of that. I'm going to just get on that and then slip off. Okay, amen. Say amen. amen. If everything you eat is fried, <laughs> it's going to be hard to have some physical whatever energy, right? Amen, ketos. Where's all my keto friends? You all here? Eat more meat than you can shake a stick at. Now, let's go to the fundamentals. You ready? Here's what it takes. So everyone here said, I'd like to succeed physically in the natural world. I'd like to, I'd like to be able to do well in this world. It's going to take spiritual energy, spiritual momentum, spiritual growth. Say amen if you're getting this. And where does that come from? Next slide. Here it comes. Ready? Prayer. Oh, pastor, don't talk about prayer again. I tried that. What'd you do? I tried. What'd you do? I tried that. That's why it didn't work for you. Can I get a better come on? It didn't work because you tried it. Prayer is not trying. Pastor, we got to talk about prayer again. You better believe it. Because a lot of us are spent in the natural because our, physic, our spiritual man is very weak. And our spiritual person, our innermost being grows. Is this good teaching? Yes. By growing spiritually. And I'm telling you, if you're not talking to God, you're not going to grow. And maybe, just maybe, that's why a lot of the problems are happening in the natural. Because your spirit man has been neglected. It looks like a malnourished person. Oh, but that flesh is fed. And the mind. I'm reading, Pastor, lots of positive reinforcement. That's good. But you better read this book. Amen. Which leads to my next prayer. God's word. Not prayer in God's word. Yes. How many want to be successful physically in the natural? Then how many know today that we've, I think we've uh, taught well that it takes spiritual energy and force, right? Somebody shout prayer. prayer. Somebody say God's word. God's word. Number three, meditation. That's not yoga. Um, <laughs> no. In fact, I, I don't know why, but I said meditation twice. Go to the next one. Confessing God's word. Are you confessing only what the doctor says? Are you confessing only what Taunt Nunu says? Are you confessing only what your neighbors say? Or what they say here and there and everywhere? Or are you confessing what God says? Pastor Steve, this is boring. Prayer, the word, 
meditating, confessing, but then wait, I go say, who wants to be successful? Ah, who wants to be out of debt? Wah! Who wants to do? Everybody wants to do great and mighty things, but nobody wants to put in what it takes. Listen, if we want to see miracles, jump off this, jump in here and people get healed and delivered set free a drug addict to a free person an alcoholic to a free person a, 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 a whoremonger come on to a free person a person battling sin and all kinds of different things. I'm here to tell you as your pastor, it's going to take us to getting with God and getting in his word. We can't show up once a week, half cocked, half baked. Come on and think that we're going to be effective out in that world. Sure, we can shout the victory in here, but is your victory in your bedroom on Monday morning? Could it be? Next, <laughs> I know, see, meditation, meditation. I was into meditating, wasn't I? Everybody say, not home. Um. Next, ah. But pastor, I don't know how to fellowship with him. Well, have you ever loved someone? Do you love someone? I hope everybody in here loves someone or someone loves them. If not, come to the altar after and we're going to talk to you about the love of God. Right? Yeah. To love and be loved is the very attribute of our Father. How much do you love someone? How much more does our God love us? Then doesn't he deserve if you can sit down and talk to someone in the natural that you love, doesn't the one who sent the greatest commodity of heaven to buy us back by his blood the time to fellowship with? I want to do great and mighty things, God. I want to preach. I want to speak. I want to do. Have you prayed lately? I don't have time to pray, Pastor. Have you fellowshiped with him? Oh, he knows I love him. Have you told him lately? Have you let him tell you? Is this okay? Listen, I got a little bit more before I let you go. Y'all fixing to go barbecue. Who's barbecuing? Wave at me. What time do I need to be there, Penny? What time? That's why none of y'all raised your hand. Y'all know you, pastor, don't you? Somebody shout the word. Listen, there is no magic formula. There's no quick fix solution. There is no natural remedy because you can't, watch this up here, you can't fix spiritual problems with natural solutions. See, we remedy lack of intensity with Holy Ghost fire and power. Did y'all hear that? We remedy lack of intensity with Holy Ghost fire and power. But you say, we all respond to God differently, Pastor. But even that can become an excuse because watch this. We all got to praise him. Oh, come on, y'all. Don't let me be the only one that gets crazy. Don't let me be the only one that gets loud. I said, we all got to praise him. Huh? We want you, Lord. We know there. You are there. You are the there. I didn't put the in there, but I'm going to now for you that are still like, what is he talking about? We know, Jesus, you are the there. And wherever, wherever you are, is there he told Thomas you know he said you know the way son Thomas said how can we know the way see he was thinking physically Jesus was saying I am the way I am the truth 
I am what? The life. Say Zoe. God kind of life. Are we living the God kind of life? Are we living in Zoe? The way God would have us live. I'm not talking about kooky spooky or trying to get attention. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about in the Zoe, God kind of life. Are y'all with me over there? <laughs> huh? Jesus, watch this. There, watch this next slide, is where his presence is. And where his presence is, is momentum you cannot get in his presence and not get a little stirred up am i right come on y'all but somebody says well i respond differently pastor you're you sweat and you you're ex you, you you got a lot of motions and a lot of activity in your praise and i got a praise in my heart pastor i'm reserved i'm a little and i'm not putting anybody down but listen to me good when a praise gets in your heart Sometimes it just has to come out of your mouth. I don't know what it is, y'all, but sometimes I just got to say, yes, Lord. I thank you that that day I would have died in my own vomit. Laying next to the Firebird formula that was still running with a 403 Oldsmobile. Dual pipes. It was doing. But I was laying. Miss Beverly. In the cold grass. With no one to help me. If I'd have laid like this. I'd have drowned. I'm here to tell you something. We all got something to praise him about. <sighs> I felt that one. Ooh, we all got something to praise him about. Well, I don't praise like you. You don't have to act like me. But look, if, it's, if you can't do it in a crowd, you close. The Bible says you get in your closet. Lord, I thank you. I was on my way to hell. And now I'm on my way to heaven. I was dying in my sin, but you changed me within. Hey, come on, y'all. Woo, I could run, yeah, but whoa, I better not. Oh, Sheila's not here. I can run. She wouldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> Scripture tells us that our Father's presence lives in the middle of our praise. Psalms 22, 3 in the Passion Translation. Listen to this. Yet I know that you are most holy. It's indisputable. You are God enthroned. Watch. Surrounded by songs and living among the shouts of praise of your princely people. Let me hear one. Let me hear one. Let me hear one. Let me hear one. Where you at, young people? Let me hear one. Let me hear one. But I'm reserved, Pastor. So am I when I sleep. I love you no matter if you're exuberant or if you're quiet. It just sometimes a praise got to come. Maybe for you it's just this. Maybe for others it's... Whatever it is, you got to praise him. Come on, praise and worship team. Come up here. I said, you got to praise him. I said, you got to praise him. I said, you got to praise him. Anybody? I feel a praise in the house coming. I feel a shout in the house coming. Why? Watch this. Where is there? Wherever he is. And he is here. And he's looking for a people that would set their mind aside at 1103 this morning. Before we do, watch what praise does.
Danielle? Psalms 8, 2 says that our praise paralyzes the enemy. I've been going through a lot, Pastor. I've been, I've been feeling like the devil been beating my head in. Then you need to praise. But I don't praise like you. Praise like you. But it takes a praise. Anybody with me? Come on, stay with me, church. We're about to get a praise on up in here. I feel a 60 second, maybe a 90 second praise. Come on. Listen to this. Listen to this. Put it up there, uh, media. 1611 of Psalms. Behold, Psalm 1611. Ready? Read. You will show me the path of in your is. Where is his where is joy? And last I read in Nehemiah 8 and 10, what is the joy of the Lord? Our maybe we don't have strength because we don't have joy and we lost our joy because we let our praise go. But I don't do like you, Pastor. You better have a praise in here. Did he save you? Did he set you free from some stuff? Come on. Do you eat good food? Nobody in here doesn't have shoes on unless you just chose to come barefooted. Right? Everybody got shoes on? Come on, we'll get a collection and buy you some shoes if you don't have any shoes on, right? Come on. Stand with me, church. It's all found in his presence. Y'all know he's the way maker? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, I feel a old town, not old town road, an old town praise coming. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. What y'all? Come on. Miracle worker. Yeah, he's a promise keeper. Yes, he is. Watch this, y'all. Watch this scripture. Put Matthew 18 up there. Ready? Read. Moreover, if you're... I'm just saying, I'm just saying what Jesus said. Go, go, go. Whatever you bind will be, and whatever you will be. Again, I say to you that if, grab somebody, grab somebody by the hand. Hurry, agree, 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 agree. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, come on, shout the victory, somebody. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. Bring it down just a little bit. Verse 20, y'all ready? Now everybody say, there is momentum. Ready? Read. Ah, hey, he's here. He's here. He's here. Shout, he's here. He's here. He's here. Yes. All right, listen. Everybody, empty the seats for me. Come and join me at the altar. I promise I won't keep you long. Your barbecue is, I'm telling you, get ready to light the pit. Please, no one. Everybody come. Press in. Press in. Toes against the carpet. Toes against. Hey, he's a miracle worker. Yes, he is. Woo, I feel good. Come on, come on, Shaq. Come on, Shaq. Come. Come right here. Tell him, y'all. Tell him. Come on, Shaq. Yeah. Yeah, he's it. He's a way maker. Miracle worker. Ah. My God. 
That is who you Everybody in here, throw your hands as high as you can and sing it. Yeah. A way maker, miracle worker. Come on, drive it, drive it, drive it. Drive it, drive it. Drive it. That is who you are. Everybody throw your hands in the air and sing, sing. Waymaker. Miracle. 